Fourth problem, yeah, that's negative three. Um, there's a couple things you guys need to understand. This is solving a logarithm equation. So the first thing you guys need to remember is whenever you're dealing with the natural log, we have it has a base e. All right. So knowing that, we need to solve for x. Okay. So there's a couple things you guys could do. There's multiple, like I said, it is difficult because there are a lot of times there's multiple ways you can do this. Well, the first way, ladies and gentlemen, which we've already learned, is if you have a logarithm equation, just transfer it to exponential form. So you'd have e to the negative third equals x. All right? E to the negative third equals x. So you're pretty much just canceling out then? No, I'm transferring from logarithmic to exponential form. So therefore, then in your calculator, you can rewrite, you can write it as 1 over e to the third equals x. Or the other way you guys can do this is use as understanding your inverse properties. You guys remember this, log base, um, I'll do it with ln since we're doing natural logarithm. ln of e equals 1, right? You also should know that ln of e raised to the x equals x. You should also know that the last one, ln or e raised to the ln of e raised to the x equals x. All right. Again, when I stress you guys understand your inverse properties, these are three properties you guys should understand and know that if I have ln of e, I know that's equal to 1 because e, which was my base, raised to e, e raised to what number gives you e? Well, it has to be 1. Well, if that equals 1 and it's, that is raised to an exponent, it's going to equal x because remember your x you could bring in front, so it would be x times 1, which obviously equals x. Then over here, it works the other way. If I take e <coughs> and I raise it to the ln of e, that cancels out and I'm just left with x. So what I could typically do, and the other thing is your one-to-one -one property, right? You guys all believe that. So if I say 2 is equal to x, what's wrong with me saying raise, raise um, or exponentiate both with the base e? Right? If you guys know that, if you guys understand this, then I could say anything. 2 equals x. What if, if it was e raises 2 equals e raised to the x? Then again, 2 is still equal to x, right? So that's what I said, that's exactly what I can do with this problem. I could say e to the ln of x equals e to the negative third power. And the only reason why I would do that is because now I can cancel that out to leave me x equals e to the negative third. Then I can rewrite this as x equals 1 over e to the positive power, which gives you the exact same answer. All right, so there's two, multi, there's two ways that I've shown you how to do this. One, transfer to exponential form. The other way is use your properties of logarithms to manipulate your equation. Okay.